Well, you guys know what Star Wars is. If you haven't seen Star Wars, just go watch it, all right? Time to watch Star Wars and also time for Trapped Weather Together with 4-1 meteorologist Shay Sorensen, who's also a bit of a Star Wars buff, right, Shay? You've seen the movies. Yeah, a great forecast it is. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, wait hey, the forecast right? be with you. Oh, we can do this all day. Yeah, okay. yeah, doing a little yoga speak. Okay, here's what we are tracking on May the 4th. Breezy to windy today and tomorrow. So yeah, Friday's gonna kind of get into that little windy category, gusts around uh, 30 miles per hour expected for your Friday, but expect occasional breeziness over the next few days. That's not going anywhere. Some days will be worse than others, and it looks like Friday now is going to be the windier day. Staying cooler than average, though, that has not changed. Temperatures today in the low 80s. That's all we're warming up to today, so definitely below normal for early May. Usually we should be in the upper 80s, and we're staying in the low to mid 80s through at least Saturday, so feeling really, really good through the first half of the weekend, and then we're going to start to warm things up a little bit early next week, but pretty close to normal for this time of year. This afternoon we are pushing into the low 80s for Midtown, low 80s also for Three Points, Aver Valley, Marana, upper 70s potentially for Corona Day, Tucson and Vail. So feeling again very good. Southwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour can be expected with gusts up to about 25. So a little bit breezy today, but overall shaping up to be a nice Thursday with lots of sunshine to the South and East, mainly in the 70s across Cochise, Graham and Greenlee County, low 80s in Douglas, 85 and Stafford and 76 in Nogales. So feeling really, really good today. And even this morning, it's still very comfortable. Most of us waking up in the 50s and 60s. However, tomorrow morning, that's going to change because of the cooler afternoon uh, later on today. So overnight lows will be able to drop a little bit more, and we're going to be seeing a lot of 30s and 40s across southeastern Arizona around this time or right before sunrise. So kiddos heading to the bus stop tomorrow, you're going to need that jacket for them uh, tomorrow morning, and you might need to even need the jacket too, especially in Benson and Wilcox dropping into the upper 30s for those spots, upper 40s for Tucson, 46 for cells, around 50 out towards Ajo, so a little bit warmer out there. Forecast wind gusts today, a little bit breezy to windy again, right around 15 to 25 miles per hour as early as 10 a.m. Around 3 p.m., not terrible, but we do have a couple pockets in Cochise County approaching that 30 mile per hour mark, especially down towards Bisbee. Overnight tonight, the wind backs off, and then on Friday, notice a lot more red and pink showing up, especially in Cochise County. That's where the concern for patchy blowing dust will be tomorrow, so please just be aware of that. Have a good grip on the wheel if you're traveling through Cochise County, but by 8 o'clock Friday, the wind will gradually begin to back down. Area of low pressure still bugging us over the next couple of days, but we have that to thank for the cooler than average temperatures. That heads northward, and then we're going to have a little ridge build in, and that's what's going to warm us up by next Tuesday into the low 90s, but at least there's no triple digits in the forecast, at least for the next seven days, so that's nice. Low 80s Friday, mid 80s Saturday, 87 on Sunday, so a really great looking weekend up ahead, just a little bit warmer towards the end. Lots of sunshine for the next seven days, pushing to about 89 on Monday, low 90s by next Tuesday with overnight lows mainly in the 40s and 